I'm oiled up and ready for a much needed shave. You doing anything? No? All right, hang around, let's do a shave. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Um, this is day like seven or eight without shaving. Um, I thought that I was going to get a three day vacation this past week um, because my kids and wife were on um, were on their February break. Um, and so I thought I was gonna get those off and I uh, ended up not getting them. Someone got sick at work. Um, and now that person's about to come back and we just lost another one. Uh, so COVID is still around. Um, so anyway, um, I worked a lot of days in a row and I'm finally off today. Um, and then I go back to work tomorrow. But anyway, I need to get a shave in, um, just showered, got the air and the hair and scalp oiled. Um, that's about it. So this is Citrus Week on BBS Live. Cool shirt. You can get them at the Razor Company. Um, so Citrus Week, and we're going with Tallow and Steel Shikoku, which I have not used in a good while, and it's very nice. I got the matching splash. Um, scent of the day is going to be um, Elixir de Vie from uh, Tempest Vitae uh, Parfums, and this is an extrait de parfum, so very concentrated. Um, brush today it's my beautiful tansy brush here let's go to theater mode if you can see it better maybe <laughs> all right anyway um it's got my dad's face on the coin um, and my kids and wife got this for me um, and i absolutely love it so that's the brush we're using today and then i've not taken off a bunch of growth with the carbon um, and this is the plus plus plate. So I really want to try this and just see how it will we'll take this off. Like I say, this is um, seven or eight days growth. I can't remember, but it's a whole bunch. Um, and so I've got a brand new feather in here and we're going to see how that performs. So I think that's everything. Um, moisturizer today will be a La Roche-Posay double repair moisturizer. And I just found that they have a triple repair. <gasps> Maybe they'll come up with a quadruple repair. So I got to check that out and see what's in it. Um, I love this one, and I love the the B five the B five Cicaplast balm as well. So let's get this going. A little water on the face, and let's get this loaded up. I should have gone ahead and loaded off camera, but I did not. So sorry. Just hang with me for a minute. And get this loaded up nice and heavy got a lot of beard growth to get through um, pretty sure it's eight days i think the last shaved was it's either sunday yeah i think not not yesterday but a week before i believe was the last one i did it may have even been saturday so i don't know this is like seven eight days growth and nine days growth i don't know it's a bunch and I am excited to get this off of here. It's really been bothering my neck um, with, you know, having necktie on. I did not wear a necktie this weekend. I don't typically, I typically kind of dress down when I work weekends. I don't know why, I just do. It's like casual Friday, but it's casual Saturday, Sunday. All right. Oh, I forgot my Allen block again. Make sure Mandy doesn't have any unmentionables hanging up. Nope. Not this time. All right. Let's go. Well, and you can see my other shave shelf. My wife um, has been doing some um, organizing around um and i <clears throat> you saw at the beginning i haven't actually done it yet but i'm going to you saw at the beginning um she took my aftershaves and put them on a 
um, a spice rack, a tiered spice rack. Um, and so now I can see what they are and I can see what they are. Being that they are in tiers, I can see what they are and the fact that it's lit up, it's kind of a dark corner. Um, so great job by her, she did awesome. I knew that I wanted to do something with my shave stuff, but I didn't know. I didn't really know exactly what I was gonna do. And then I've got, um, well, I can show you this one. If you can see it, I think, yeah. So I've got shave soaps on one of these and then I've got it on the opposite door as well. But anyway, so I've got more storage here. So she did a great job. She was pretty busy on her vacation. And I was too, it just wasn't vacation. I do love my job, so it makes it better, but I was kind of disheartened. I really needed a few days extra off and I really wanted them with my wife and kids because you know, I'd get two full day, well, four full days um, a month with them um, because of working every other weekend. And obviously when I um, am off during the week, they're still going to school. So like today, you know, I don't get them until they, I don't see them until they get in from school, which is usually like 3.30 or something. Um, and I'll be cooking dinner, so stinks, but we all have to make sacrifices. I just don't want to do it forever because, you know, my kids aren't going to be young forever. And I'm missing out on a lot of time right now. But I understand I'm still kind of young into this career. Um, so, you know, you got to pay the... I don't know what you got to pay. You get paid for working, so I, I don't know what else. What, what do you want from me? Look at that. I think that's going to be good enough. I'm not going to get too crazy on this lather. You have to pay your dues. That's what I'm looking for. Not your due dues, but you have to pay your dues. So I am um, over seven years into this career. Um, I've had a couple of other careers in my lifetime, uh, but now we're on this one and this one's gonna be my last one, as far as I know, unless something, something crazy comes up. I also um, burnt the poop out of my arm I was doing hibachi here at home um, and I had some oil in a pan and I dropped my steak in there and it just hit a puddle of oil, shot it right up on my arm. You can see it doesn't look very good. It's at least second degree burn that might be third. But anyway, it's starting to peel off a little bit. Um, that was not great. The food was fantastic, um, but the oil burn was not, was not really wonderful. So, Trying to get better from that too. All right, here we go. Let's see how this thing does. I'd say it does just fine. Once again, this is the plus plus plate. So it's pretty efficient. Still really smooth. Takes a little extra to get through this hair, but I expect that anyway. It even takes a little bit to get through the hair with a straight razor. That's why we do multiple passes, right? Great razor. Really nice sound to it as well. Audible feedback, if you like. 
If you don't like that, then you make up your own word. Because that's what I'm calling it. It's my video. It's not your video. When you make your video, you can call it whatever you want to. Very nice. Really nice scent on this too. I'll give you the notes in just a second. It's a lot of um, Japanese um, citruses. There's yuzu, then there's like a, I don't remember what the name of the citrus is, but it's like a, like a cross between um, orange and mandarin. Um, let's see, um, mikan, um, yuzu, amanatsu, ginger, green tea, um, orange mandarin cross. I can't remember what the name of that um, that that one was. Uh, green tea and cedar. Um, and then Elixir de Vie, which I am pairing with it, is yuzu, orange, grapefruit, lemongrass, white florals, pine, and elemi. Um, should be, should work very nicely together. All right, nice first pass. Let me change this water out because there's a lot of hair in it. I got some hairy water down here. Not Harry Potter, not Harry, Tor Harry Potter. Come on. Get out of there. Okay. Let me get some of this hair out. That is a lot of hair. Good golly. Like I said a week plus. A week plus what? I don't know. Okay. Nice slickness on this slope. Nice residual slickness. Woo! Hot water. The second degree burn my hands too. Okay. So that definitely had no trouble getting through a week plus growth. No trouble at all. It's still a very smooth razor too. I mean, it's the plus plus, but it's not like hyper aggressive or anything, but you can see it took off that growth with no troubles at all. All right, let's see. Sideburns, a little off. I had too much coffee this morning, too. I'm a little shaky. A little shaky. All right. Or maybe it's just because I'm so excited to get this shave in. That may be it as well. And then I'm going to start cooking a pot roast. Pot roast. Got a big, almost a four pound uh, beef chuck roast. Um, and I've got some red potatoes. It's a big fat carrots. Reed loves carrots. So I put a bunch in there. And then I've got a nice French bread with um, a garlic garlic uh, garlic herb compound butter um, to put in there. I'm looking forward to that. I don't eat much bread anymore since my diabetes diagnosis, but with all the protein, fat, and fiber that will be in this meal. Um, a little bit of bread shouldn't spike my blood sugar. I 
doing a little better with my newest diabetes med, the Victoza, learning that you really can't eat much um, or you, you know, you kind of get the upset stomach and all the burps and all that kind of stuff. So slowly learning how to control that better. Uh, it does work great. My uh, blood sugar has been really on point. I think my A1C this next time should be less than six. It was 6.2 the last time and I feel like we're gonna be sub six this time. Which is great. All right, let's keep this train moving. This is a BBS Live week, Thursday night, nine o'clock Eastern. So I used to, my weekend on used to be the opposite of the uh, BBS Live weeks. So, you know, BBS Live would be, I mean, you know, it's usually not over until midnight for me. Um, and then I have to get up and work. Um, but you know, I used to be off on those the day after, so I had no trouble staying up that late, but I'm having a hard time staying up till the end. I did stay up for the past one, but I was really tired for work the next day. And my days are like balls to the wall. They are extremely busy. We have lots of patients, and then I have a lot of administrative things as well. I have a lot of meetings. Um, I just have a lot of a lot of responsibilities. And it's kind of hard to fit them all in, in in a day. But once again, I do love what I do. So it's worth it to me. And I feel like I'm helping people. So, you know, if you can work a job, no matter how busy it is, at the end of the day, if you still love doing it, then I'd say that's a win. I've definitely been in some jobs before that I didn't love that were super busy um, and it makes it a lot harder to deal with. So I am thankful that I went back to school again um, and chose to do what I, what I am doing now. Had I known that it took this much schooling to be a dietitian from the beginning, I might not have done it. I racked up um, a lot of student loans. Um, and I mean, it was four years undergrad, two years grad, and then um, an, an unpaid internship as well of like, I don't know, eight months or something. So it takes a lot to become a registered dietitian. And I racked up a lot of debt becoming one. scent on this is really nice it's not like super in your face but it's it's just great i remember when i hmm, remember when i first uh got it and opened the tub there was a little funk to it um but it's not there anymore and i haven't used this in i mean maybe a year i don't know a good while. So the tub has been closed for a long time and it still doesn't smell funky, so. 
whatever it was, worked its way out. That's great. A few little spots that I've got in there. A few little bloody spots, but not bad. All right, just gonna do a little clean up. You can see nice, nice suds there. Plenty loaded there. Mm, that is a great one. It was one of my better shaves in a while. Really nice stuff. Really nice silky feel to the lather. Very good. Very, very good. Very impressed with the carbon right now. Also feather blades. You know, some people love them, some people hate them. Um, I love them. For multiple days growth, they will always be my go-to. You know, if I'm looking for a, you know, a mild shave, then you know, I'm probably not going to choose the. The feather, depending on what the razor is. If it's a real mild razor, I still may use the feather. Um, anyway, it just it's a great blade but for my skin. You know, it may not be for yours, but um, it certainly does a great job with mine. So, and we are nice and smooth there. Got one little spot there, and a couple little, couple of things. But I expect that after eight days, anyway. You know, or any of my shaves. All right, and this is a non-alcohol. This is a witch hazel base, and it's funky looking. The color of it looks about the same as the tub <laughs> that it comes in. Mm, there's a little of that funk in there. Not like tallow funk, but like citrus that I'm not used to. Maybe it's Amanatsu. I don't know. I don't know what Amanatsu is. I feel like when I looked it up, I feel like it was a grapefruity kind of scent. Um, but don't quote me on that. All of it is overall nice though. I really enjoy it. I know I don't use it that much, but a lot of soaps that I don't use that much. I keep getting new stuff. People keep sending me things. I can't even use up my own stuff. Now I got more stuff that people are sending me. And I can't use those up either. Pretty soon I'm going to have to do a, a big giveaway. Of a lot of stuff that I don't have time to use. You know, I know a lot of people are not as fortunate as I am to get, you know, people sending them stuff. And, you know, I, I certainly get that. 
Um, but I like to pay back. And if you've ever been on a BBS Live, I think you'll, you'll understand that I like to give back. I haven't really done much giving lately. Um, but I did do some stuff over like Christmas. I think it was their last show of the year that I did some and I don't know, I, I've done a lot for the show, but the show has done a lot for me. Um, it got me a lot more, a lot more into the community um, instead of just posting things, you know. I've come to know a lot of people um, since being around the, the BBS Live crew. Um, we were just talking last night about trying to work a, um, a Kentucky, Kentucky uh, bourbon trail um, meetup, you know, or at least, you know, at least a few people going there. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun. I would love to meet them in person, you know, even though we video and, you know, we're on videos and such lives together. Um, still not the same, you know, I still like to shake their hands. They're good people. They've been very good to me and very good to the community. So I love to support them as much as I can as well. So please join us on uh, Thursday night. Um, and let's finish up with Elixir de V. These um, Tempest Vitae was kind enough to send these to me. They sent me the samples and then said, you know, when you're <clears throat> when you decide which one you want the most, let us know and we'll send you one. So um, I'd settled on Elixir de V, even though I like all of them very much. Um, and they ended up sending me 15 mil bottles of all three of their fragrances. So thank you guys very much. I really appreciate that. So here we go. Elixir de V. Mm. That's so nice. The, um, the yuzu grapefruit and then the lemony lemongrass and then um, I think Elemy has a um, kind of lemony scent to it as well if I remember correctly. Um, anyway, very nice fragrance. Um, all of them are extrate, um, so very strong. They got really good staying power, really nice sillage. Um, so check them out. Tempest Vitae Parfums. Uh, I believe it's Tempest Vitae parfums.com. So check them out. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, sorry I left you for a week or whatever, but I put in a lot of time at work. So thank you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week um, and I'll see you at least if I haven't seen you before, I'll see you on BBS live. So have a great day. Peace. I'll see you on the next one.